Hello, this is IPX and this is Minecraft. Today we're going to be doing a uh, squeezer and fermenter setup. As you can see here, we have a squeezer and fermenter. We're pretty much going to do this as I've already done it, but we're going to do it outside. Right over here, around that section there. I've uh, cleared this all out using one of the uh, Buildcraft fillers. That made uh, clearing this all out so much easier than using my uh, drill and taking out the whole section out. So we'll start this off by building the machines that we need. Oh, by the way, I'll probably pull this down and chuck it over there at some point. So, in this machine, we've got parts for a squeezer and a uh, fermenter. So, if I remember how to make the squeezer, it was two glass there. Yep, that's a squeezer. And the fermenter was like this. This being a bronze gear and glass fermenter. Bam. Got two these two bad boys here. Oh yeah, we'll need some motors. I'm using in there I think it's commercial engines. Uh, let's look what sort of engines we should do. Combustion? No, not yet. Commercial steam, industrial steam. Uh, let's let's do some hobbyist ones. I should have in here hobby. We'll do about four. We'll request that and we'll set it up here. Got a bit of an FPS drop in this area because there's there's so much stuff going on. So we'll be doing it here. I might, yeah, I might do like squeezing, fermenting, then refining, going that way. All right, I'll connect this up. Basic logistics pipe here, and golden pipes all the way up here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll bring it up there. And uh, where's the squeezer? I'll chuck the squeezer there. Disconnect that. And what my squeezer will need is a uh, supplier. Chuck the supplier here. Turns on. What else do we need? We we'll need to extract. Oh, might as well check the extractor there. Yeah, we'll have the power behind here and everything else here. We need to power that up, so I'll chuck that there. And from the extraction, we need to ferment. So we'll need water, or we're using fruit juice, and taking out biomass. So. I'll put the extraction here. I'll also need this one here. I'll probably put this on top here. And extract the module. This will take out the uh, mulch it makes from the apples. And then we're going to bring that and bring the mulch into there while tree saplings up there. So I'll put the supplier there. I'll plug this there. And uh what else? We need the supply. Yeah, I'll put this up top here. So that one will provide mulch, that one will provide provide our tree saps and this one will provide the apple juice. 
So I'll chuck that. Uh, that's not good there. I need to use the other pipes. But I'll chuck that there to power those ones up. Doesn't look very pretty, but I need to change that one up. My engine should be done. Yeah, so much droppage in FPS. <laughs> That's my little boiler for the outside. Hopefully, maybe I'll make another boiler and put it outside there, just for the engines. Yeah, might as well do that. I've got so much charcoal. Well, I've got these four here. I'll get it to build. I'll get me the mats for this one. One, two, three, four, and uh, what's it called? H. Yeah, we want about eight of this. And we need some pipes. Uh, stone kinesis, yeah, that would we'll take eight of that, I guess. And where's some wooden ones? Wooden kinesis, we'll take four. And I'll take some plugs. And yeah, I'm just gonna wait for the bricks to be made for that one. And I'll probably need to make. Uh, where is it? A provider and supplier? Yeah, supplier charcoal. Yeah, supplies are charcoal and should have another fluid supplier or haven't I? made it down here yet. I swear I made it. Maybe I didn't wrench it. No. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, fluid supplier. Should be there. F. Yeah. Request one of that, and I'll continue. Yeah, I need to grab the other bits. Bam. I'll bring this over. I sh probably should convert my base to applied logistics because I think all this action that's happening is giving me so much uh, drop in FPS. So, I should put the engines up here, yeah. Three, four. Mm. I'll move this one over here. Yeah, that's it. That looks good. Stone kinesis pipes. Bust that one, bust that one. And one there, one there. And one, two, three, four. Get the wrench, wrench them down. So that should be. Ah, oh, we need to supply them. Damn, um, we'll supply them with steam, with the boiler. Yep, I'll go grab and make those now. Yes, that's done. Sweet. We need a couple more suppliers. Four more suppliers. Uh, where are you? On the other side. Two, three, four. We'll get these things called gates. We'll get four of these. Four gates. Grab these. And I'll check 
on the pipe situation. Piping. Got ten of that, so it should be made soon. Should get it soon. Where are you? Where are you? And you can see a lot of action happening there. Hopefully this uh, hasn't really taken much yet. Yeah, my wood's uh, finally climbing. I had a problem with wood. Again, had to do with chunk loading. Like, I come online and uh, I have, like, no wood. And my creo starts to drop. And that's not a good sign. And then when I'm online, my wood comes up, so I had to put down a couple more world anchors. Oh, that's one. It shouldn't take that long. Two. Three. Last one. Four. It's probably a lot quicker if I made it myself, but, you know, laziness you know, take, has its price. Uh, I'll just track that there. And one, two, three, four. I'll chuck that there. I guess I can. Where's that plug? Plug it there. One, two, three, four. That should be cool. Alright. Uh, get this boiler going. Over here. Yeah, that should be a good spot. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And uh, we'll put the Supply module here. Yeah, I didn't think this through. <laughs> so I'll put it all here. Supply there. That one there. Both suppliers. And provider, I'll chuck it here. Now I need some more pipes. That one I can ch uh, nah. Or maybe, nah. I need to get some more just basic logistic pipes. I can go this way. My new little door. Alright, let's grab just a bunch. I'll grab five. You can see here, I was going to build another farm, but I found out what my uh, wood problem was, so that's all cool. Those two should, that produced me enough wood. Alright. That's got a plug. I to remember that. Mm. Yeah, I'll still plug it. Have another plug somewhere. Oh well. Yeah, and we'll chuck there. Providing steam to the system. And chuck that there. Actually, I should chuck it there. Bring that down. Chuck that. Come back up place that there. So that's cool. Now let's get everything started. Alright, that's the supplier. And we want apples. Bring a stack of apples. And this one we'll put in tree saps. Uh, SAP we want this one, tree saps, and this one we want mulch, M-U-L-C, 
chuck that in there. We'll have that partial. That will not also be partial. Uh, you have to supply fruit juice. Uh, how much fruit juice can it take? About 10,000. Partial, yes. None. And this one. Yeah, it doesn't need to supply anything into that. I already chuck that there. We should have apples in it now. And that has mulch in it and some fruit juice. Just needs some tree saps. I hope the tree saps go in. Uh, now, this one will need partial charcoal. And we need one, two, three, four stacks in there. And we'll need water. I think it's about 30,000. Partial, yes. Yeah. 30,000? 32,000. And, yep. Yeah. Bam, it's filled, filling up. And that should be gone soon. Cool. I wonder what I gotta check that out. And still no tree saps. Got the right one. I know it should work. Maybe I gotta start it off a little bit. I'll grab some tree saps from here. Yeah, I'll just grab it from here. Like half a stack. How's my dirt situation so low? Do I have to go dig in some dirt? Uh, I guess I'll do that in a bit. Tree saps? No, tree saps in here. Maybe I'll do that. Grab this. Chuck it in here. Like so, and hopefully it uh, fills it. Okay, now for the engines. You want it to supply with steam, about 4,000 units each. I think it's 4,000. Water, steam, yep. This one, steam. 4,000 partial, yes. Yes. 4,000 steam. Here we go. That's all ready to go. Now we need to check in some gates. Basic gates. This is the fun stuff. One, two, three, four. So what we want is when power is requested it puts a redstone signal power requested redstone signal I know there's a quicker way to do this but I'm not sure how to do it yet where well, you can copy these gates and just pass them along and redstone signal now these should slowly warm up and get these going oh yep now we got 64 This one will slowly get going and fill this up with steam. But for the meantime, it's grabbing steam from somewhere else. As you can see, steam traveling that way. That's full of fruit juice. Uh, I'll block this off. One, two. Now what I want to do is... Yeah, I'll bring the other one here and just set it up on the opposite side. Maybe upgrade these to the commercial engines, maybe? Not sure. That one's uh, giving out the steam. Yeah, I'll grab the other two, chuck it here, and I'll probably have a, um... What's it called? Refinery. Yeah, we'll probably build this refinery. Diamond gear. Oh yeah, that's pretty pretty easy. 
And I think uh, you put the refinery, then you have the two liquid inputs, and then I'll probably have a power input here and have a couple of engines going on it. And it should, I think, with uh, we're using biomass, biomass, chuck in, oh, press U for biomass, and uh, I think it's biomass and biomass. <laughs> Bring it back. Biomass and biomass to make ethanol. If I remember. I know you can just use biomass on its own to make something. You also got this one. If we use this one, this is with um, IC2 equipment. And you put those together to make a uh, biogas. And then you can put biogas and ethanol together to make um, uh, fuel. So yeah, making our own uh, little fuels with apples and tree saps. I s I'll probably use the um. Yeah, I got this little. I think it's got a crop matron. Yeah, crop harvester on a low voltage solar um array, which powers it nicely in the day. I'll probably uh turn this into chaff and, or maybe maybe also the cactus into chaff and make the IC2 um, biomass. So yeah, we really need to use the, uh, the tree saps because I've got oh, so much tree saps. Had to get rid of them. And let's uh, check out uh, the old uh, Quinton's base. We'll teleport. As you can see, he's been uh, stripping it. I actually haven't seen inside his Wow. He stripped it bare. Oh, except for the uh, XP things. You can really see he's done a lot of uh, work. <laughs> oh, I forgot there was a staircase down this way. Uh, still got more fitted quarry stones. Where'd this go? So got chests. Wow. Got an underground uh, tunnel here. It's pretty uh, barren. <laughs> but yeah, he's. He said uh, instead of just slowly migrating his base into applied energistics, he is just going to rebuild his entire base. I had thought about that, but uh, that's a lot of effort. It might be something I'll do and when I feel like it's time to move on. But in the meantime, I'm cool with logistic pipes. Now let's uh, check out his new place. It's pretty wicked. He only just started. He's done a couple of hours on this. I like these uh, little lights. It's got like a, a train entrance coming in with a little induction furnace here. I think at the moment he's just making it look good. And then he's going to make everything look functional, so it's not just going to be like my place and stuff works. You know, he wants to make it look pretty. And I think he said he wants to run like AE2 and power lines all along these sides here, going down into his base. And he actually wants to use the, pr the rail tracks to bring all the uh, materials in and out, <laughs> which will be pretty cool. And I think he also said he'll have like rooms down the railway uh, with big machinery. So he'll make the little machinery look big, look big and functional. So that'll be awesome to see over time. So uh, I think for this episode that will be enough. I think uh, we'll do refineries for the next episode because that'll be something interesting, something I haven't done before. So. That'll be pretty cool. So yeah, I'll leave it there. Next episode should be on refineries. Ooh, la, dee da.